If you are looking for a new PC that's very capable of gaming, but also content creation at the same time, and you are working with a tight budget, this video is going to be for you. I will show you the best $700 gaming PC build that will allow you to play any game at 1080p, high to ultra settings, and you can also play at 1440p resolution, and at the same time, you can do content creation at a very high level. You will also have different budget levels throughout this video in case you have more money to spend, and all the Links to these PC components and more will be down below in the video description. With that being said, let's start. So first I will talk about the PC specifications. If you are new to PCs and you don't understand anything about computers, that's fine because I will show you the level of performance that you can get with this system. And don't worry, I will explain everything in simple terms. That way you understand what you are going to get if you end up buying this PC. For the CPU, you get the i5 12600K, which is an amazing CPU for the price right now. It's only going for a hundred and $50 and it's going to give you great performance for both content creation and gaming at the same time. On top of that, you can also do streaming pretty well and overall it's a great CPU. With this CPU, you can achieve well over 200 FPS in eSports shooters such as Fortnite, Valorant and those type of games. When it comes to content creation, you can edit at 1080p, 1440p or 4K resolution at a very smooth performance. Of course, it depends on your workloads, but for most people, this is going to be completely fine for content creation overall. If you are a professional content creator, then of course I do recommend you upgrading the CPU to something like the i5 13600K or even going with something like an i7 or an i9 and that's going to depend on your budget. But if you're not a professional and you just want to do YouTube for example or videos like this, then a 12600K is definitely more than capable of doing that and even more. Now this CPU requires an aftermarket CPU cooler and that's why I went with the Thermal Ride Peerless Assassin 120. This one is a $30 CPU cooler that's going to be amazing for this CPU. It's going to cool it down pretty well and overall your temps are going to be lower. Now the most important component when it comes to gaming is the graphics card or GPU and I will get to that in a second. But before going there I want to talk about the motherboard. I went with the ASRock C690 Extreme. This one is great for gaming and content creation because you get a great audio quality level and because you get a C690 motherboard you can overclock the CPU if you wanted to even though I do not recommend you overclocking because you get a capable motherboard. And then for the RAM, you get 32 gigs of RAM, which is going to be ideal for both gaming and content creation. If you are more into content creation, you can upgrade to 64 gigs of RAM. But for most people, 32 gigs is completely fine. I do have myself 32 gigs of RAM inside of my system. And trust me when I say it's completely fine. You do not need anything more unless your programs require to. Then you get a one terabyte chain for SSD. And if you need more storage because you know that you will be using more than one terabyte, then I do recommend you upgrading to two terabyte right now or down the line when you run out of storage but honestly one terabyte is the standard and going with two terabytes is going to make the system more expensive and because we are talking about a budget system i had to go with one terabyte but keep in mind that you can always operate down the line if you ever need more then for the graphics card and the most important component when it comes to gaming and it's also important for content creation even though not as important as it is for gaming we have the intel arc a580 this cpu is a budget cpu that's going for 160 dollars and in my opinion is an insane GPU in terms of value. Now Intel, I usually do not recommend it a lot, especially for gaming, but since we are talking about content creation and gaming, this is the only graphics card that I will recommend you if you are looking for a budget system that's going to be ideal for both gaming and content creation. When it comes to gaming, you can achieve 80 plus FPS on average in high settings in most games. Of course, it's going to depend on the exact game because if you want to play Cyberpunk on ultra settings, then you are not going to be able to achieve 80 plus FPS. But for the most part, 80 plus FPS on average on high settings is a very good level of performance and remember as i said before in esports titles such as fortnite valorant and those games you can achieve well over 200 plus fps in competitive settings and then the intel arc a580 is by far the best budget gpu when it comes to content creation here you could have gotten the rx 6600 from amd or rtx 3050 from nvidia but the thing is the 3050 from nvidia is much slower and it is more expensive and then the rx 6600 is about the same when it comes to gaming performance it is slower for content creation and it is more expensive so i think the intel arc a580 is your best choice here but i do recommend you searching for your favorite game to see the level of performance that you get with the arc a580 because in some games amd or nvidia are much better 
card. But overall, I love this graphics card at this price point. And then if you have more money to spend, I recommend you buying the RTX 3060, which has 12 gigs of VRAM, but it is quite more expensive at around $130 more. However, keep in mind that you are going to be getting about the same level of gaming performance. But here you get 12 gigs of VRAM, which is going to be beneficial depending on the game. And you get an NVIDIA graphics card, which is ideal for content creation. Then for the case, we have the Montec X3 Mesh. This one has six pre-installed fans, plenty of airflow, and the price is only $60 when recording this video. Maybe when you're watching this one, it's more expensive. I do recommend you checking the latest prices down below in the description. And if you are enjoying the video so far, click the like button and subscribe. It's going to help the channel to grow. So if you end up doing that, thank you so much. And last but not least, we have the power supply. I went with the MSI Mag 650 watt 80 plus per ounce power supply. This power supply is enough for this system and is going to be ideal at this price point. And the total price for this PC when I'm recording this video is $700 if you end up going with the Intel Arc A580. And if you want to go with the RTX 3060 because you have more money, then you are looking to spend around 800 to 850 bucks depending on the price of the 3060 when you decide to buy it. Overall, a great PC for $700 that as I said before, will allow you to do content creation at a very high level, gaming at 1080p 80 plus FPS on average. And on that same test, it was able to average 60 plus FPS at 1440p high quality settings. Now, I don't recommend you playing at 1440p with this system unless you want to play easy to run games, for example, GTA 5. But for the most part, especially if you want to play high demanding graphics card titles like Cyberpunk 2077 or Starfield, I do not recommend you going with a 1440p monitor. But a 1080p one is ideal for any type of game with this system. If you need personal PC help and you want me to take a look at your specific system, down below in the description, in the top link, you can make any question regarding gaming PCs. And if you want to see the best PC build for a different budget, because maybe you have more money to spend or maybe you have less, then I do recommend you watching my video on the best gaming PC builds for gaming in 2024. That video is in the top right of the screen and I go through every budget and every resolution. 1080p, 1440p and 4K. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.